there is one more big obstacle I have to tell you. Because we don't just fight against ourselves. We may want to try to surrender, but it's really hard. I have to talk about this. We don't fight just against ourselves. We fight against an enemy. Yep. I have to talk about the dreaded enemy. Because if we believe in God, we have to believe Satan. The devil, as you may know him. We have to believe that he's real too. I know you don't want to hear it, but this is reality. Because if we, when we take off our mask, we're going to be vulnerable. We are. And Satan is going to use our own vulnerability against us. Unless we guard our hearts and be mindful of his tactics. See, he knows our weaknesses, so we should know more about him so we can resist his deceptions. See, Satan was a fallen angel whose pride cost him because he wanted to become God himself. He knows he's going to be defeated by God one day. I mean, the Bible says that. He and his demons will be hurled into hell one day when Christ returns. So you know what? Satan does not want to go down alone. He hates God. He wants to get God back. He wants to get God back yet by getting back his loved ones. And that's us. His prized creations. God's prized creations. He doesn't want any one of us to have a close relationship with him. He would cause confusion and anger and bitterness against God. Anything to distract us from reconciling back to God. He knows that God is an all-loving and merciful God. But he also knows that God is a just and holy God. And sin cannot enter into his presence. He knows that sin blocks us from having a close relationship with God. So you know what he's going to do? His ultimate aim is to make us feel joyless, abandoned, alone, anything to get us away from God. He knows that God is all-powerful, and he knows that without God, we can't do things on our own. To say he's a master deceiver, who doesn't want you to know God's truth? Satan will do everything possible so that you won't get to hear and know the real truth. Sadly, the real truth is that if you don't confess your sins and ask Christ to save you, you will join Satan and his party demons in hell one day. And live a life devoid of purpose and meaning. And that's the sad truth, but it is the real truth. And I have to, I have to proclaim that. Because we, Satan whispers his lies. That you don't need God. You can do everything from your own will and your own strength. He tries to confuse others and make others think that God is restricting us from living our freedom because we've got God's rules from the Bible. This is so far away from the truth. I mean, God wants us to live freely and enjoy an abundant life. God has given us His written word, His Bible, and His Holy Spirit to guide us and direct us to living a free life. His rules or his truths, it doesn't take away our freedom. It gives us the freedom to enjoy life better. 